In an emergency event where electricity goes out, it's helpful to know how to make a zero pot, or also known as a pot and pot refrigeration system. It keeps your perishable foods cool without the use of electricity or power. It's an age-old evaporative cooling method that dates back over 4,500 years to the old kingdom of Egypt. Now it's really easy to make one of these and I'll show you how. What you'll need is two terracotta pots, make sure they're non-glazed, one larger than the other, corks or stoppers if the pots have drain holes, sand, cool water, cool damp cloth. Optional would be a platter the size of the smaller pot and a thermometer. If there are vent holes at the bottom of the pots, plug them up with a cork or rubber stoppers to prevent the insulation from spilling out. Step 2. Pour enough sand on the bottom so that the smaller pot is flush with the top pot. Step 3. Place the smaller pot into the larger pot. Step 4. Fill the space in between with sands all the way to the top. Step 5. Slowly pour the water into the sand area till it can no longer take any more water. Be sure to pour slowly to prevent soil liquidation and give the water time to soak into the terracotta pot. Step 6. Place your perishable items into the smaller pot and you might want to throw in a thermometer just to keep track of the temperature. A cooler alternative is to place a small platter of sand and water over the smaller pot before you place a cool damp towel over the entire thing. And there you have it. It's pretty amazing how long you can keep food using a zero pot. Um, meat, for example, will perish in one day without refrigeration and in the zero pot it could last up to 14 days. So here's a chart that I got off of Wikipedia for your information. If you want to learn more about this and more, go to www.10-78.info.